welcome to my channel guys to everything today we're going to learn what is scuba driving diving want to know, want to learn all you need to know about scuba diving behind the word scuba diving what is scuba diving you know if you see if you see this picture look at this picture here very well you see people not carrying something like gas at the back and they are going towards this particular water here this ocean here so do you ever ask the question what is scuba diving you know we will try to answer these questions in the post for you did you know that scuba diving is one of the fastest growing exchange sports in the world today every year millions of people go into scuba diving whether for a course and rotary dive or because they already have their diving license so which means before you become a scuba diver you must obtain your license to dive so what is scuba diving the attraction scuba diving is mainly done for the attraction of the unattainable under sea world this is one area of nature that mankind has not been able to fully control we simply we simply are not able to breathe underwater hence scuba diving gives us an opportunity to be in that underwater world even if in just for a limited amount of time of course the underwater world is beautiful as well with many people op op opting for scuba diving in Asia or scuba diving in the Red Sea or the Great Barrier Reef said to be some of the world's best scuba diving location. The different colors and marine wildlife are so impressive in all these locations that people find themselves returning over and over again. Are we together? So fine. So what is scuba diving? Technical points. Diving underwater is something that has attracted mankind since they figured out that there was a living world under the sea. Scuba is an abbreviation for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Scuba means what? Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. In other words, equipment to allow us to breathe underwater. The air that is in these tanks is compressed. It's compressed air as we know it outside. So past nitrogen, past oxygen and some other gases as well. Many people mistakenly believe that the air is pure oxygen but that will actually poison the divers because of the nitrogen in the compressed air. Divers need to be very careful when diving to, to greater depths as nitrogen narcosis can occur which has the same effect as excessive alcohol. This is easily solved by going back up to shallow waters. A more serious effect of nitrogen is known as calcium disease also known as compression sickness which the, comp the compression sickness which is when nitrogen starts to form bubbles in the diver's body this become an issue when the divers return to the surface and normal air pressure uh, can lead to death this is why one of the most important thing to remember for divers is to never go too deep too quickly and never to go back to the surface too quickly what is scuba diving's safety the main thing to remember with scuba diving is that you need to be safe. Do not go diving on your own and don't be tempted into buying diving gear and simply giving it a go without the proper training. Scuba diving is incredibly popular. So whether you want to go diving in Asia or diving in the Red Sea, for example, diving in Sham El Sheik or any else in the world, for that matter, you will be able to find good diving schools in those areas. Tourist places like diving and sham air shack will probably have a range of diving schools. So see if you can do some research on them before your holiday. So you could see the areas where divers where we have a diving di where have diving school because of the you know um, ocean located in those areas, very close to the Atlantic Ocean, South Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Southern ocean not Atlantic ocean so and there are schools for divers in these locations that can train you on how to dive and also train you about the safety of diving so what is diving what is scuba diving so interesting facts for recreational divers the depth limit is between 30 and 40 meters equating to 100 to 133 feet if you want to go deeper special training or a special train body is required so these are how this whole thing is done so what is diving some interesting dives 
if you do enjoy scuba diving there is a couple of things you can do to make it even more interesting there are many artificial reliefs for example these artificial reefs you know have been created either to restore destroyed cora or the scientific experiment to see how cora grows and how it attracts other marine life there are many wrecks for example that have been purposely sunken to create artificial reefs so these are all you have to know about uh, you know scuba diving i believe this article is interesting if article is interesting you know like i mentioned before this if you want to see some of the areas you can look, if you look at this map here you see it so this is the south atlantic ocean if you also look at other places now here is the north atlantic ocean you see all the that's red it's where showing you that you have diving schools and where you can learn how to dive you know if you also shake down you see you know you know you see them south pacific ocean and all that so these are places where you can learn how to scuba dive so you also if you see you see the indian ocean you see all these areas that have all these red spots that's where you can where they have schools of diving so where you can also you know learn how to dive and all that so i believe this tutorial is helpful teaching you about the scuba diving if you have any questions don't help, forget to use our comment box below to learn more so we're talking about scuba diving and already to know and more and we're we'll expecting to you now what it's all about we're we'll talking about what scuba, uh, scuba diving is and how you can make sure that you are safe we will let you know also that you can also be safe in the water and also how to make sure that the gas is not you know how you can also manage the gas you know and also the meaning of a scuba that is abbreviated as a what self-contained underwater breathing apparatus so that you 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 have that that will make you not to be able not to live in the water and stay in the water for a long period of time thanks for watching our video don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys to everything and uh, also like our video share the video subscribe to the channel share the video use the uh, red button below to subscribe to the channel share the video you know and more more video will come to your way in this channel thanks for watching see you in my next video god bless you bye